in this video we're going to create a custom Facebook tab and we're going to use a free Google app called Sites to get it done. There are a few reasons I want to show this using Google Sites. One is because I know everyone can do this regardless of skill and it doesn't matter what content management system you're using or even if you have a website. Google Sites works very well for a do-it-yourself Facebook tab because it provides you with themes, customization abilities, and a free 100 megabytes of storage which is plenty for a Facebook tab. Most importantly though Google provides you with a free SSL version of your page which is very important because if you don't have an SSL version people who have checked the security setting in Facebook to browse Facebook securely will not be able to see your page. You're gonna be able to create the page using any colors you want, any, you can add videos, images, you can even add HTML so you'll be able to add your newsletter subscription forms, contact forms, just about anything you want to do with this page you'll be able to do it. Okay the first thing we're gonna to need to do is create our Google site so you want to go to sites.google.com and I just want to say if if you're using a content management system or you have a way to make web pages and you don't want to use Google Sites, you can still follow this tutorial. It's just as long as you can make your web page, make make a web page that is a 520 pixels wide, and just don't include your regular surrounding elements of your site like the header, sidebar, and footer. Just make a, a plain background 520 pixels wide web page, and you're good. So for everyone who's going to use Google Sites, go ahead and click Create a Site give it a name go ahead and uh, choose a theme I'm gonna choose blank slate and then fill out the capture code and click create site Okay, the location I've chosen is not available. I think I used that same name when I did it earlier when I was testing this, so that might that's probably why it didn't work. Okay, once we're in here, this is the start of our our page, but we have to change some settings to get this to work right. So we're going to go to more actions, manage site, and the first thing you're going to do is click general. And here you can input your uh, Google Analytics code if you're using it and your Google Webmaster uh, tools verification if you use Google Webmaster tools. But what the thing you really want to change is this users who can access site activity, set that to collaborators only, and click save then after that go to site layout click change site layout and we want to set the width to 520 pixels turn off the header turn off the sidebar and click OK click save changes go to return to site and now this is more what we want a nice uh, narrow page you can't really see it because there's no outlines but the pay our Facebook page is gonna be this content that's about right here so I'm gonna go to edit page change my title here And then once I'm in here, I can edit HTML. I can insert images, links, horizontal lines, AdSense codes, app script gadget. I think you can actually create JavaScript gadgets and then insert them. I haven't created any, so there's none available. The calendar, map, photos, presentations, video from YouTube or Google. So what we're going to do first, I created an image, I'm going to go ahead and insert that as a little banner. 
Now, by default, this image links to a, a copy of the image. I want to change that, and I want it to link to my website. So, And I want to make sure any links I put into this page open in a new window because we're using iframes. This content is going to load inside Facebook. If you don't open it in a new window, then your website is going to try to load within that 520 pixels inside Facebook it's not gonna fit and it's not gonna look good so make sure it opens in a new window any links that you set and then right here I want to insert a video but I'm not gonna use this because my video is not on YouTube so I'm gonna use HTML I'm gonna switch over to HTML and I'm gonna put the code right here click update and that's going to insert my video into the page and click save and everything loads fine this is what we're going to use for my Facebook page but you could put anything in yours you want just make sure that the width of what you use in your page doesn't exceed 500 pixels now before we jump over to Facebook we just need to copy the URL of our page we created so you just go up to your address bar and copy that whole URL and then we want to go over to Facebook and go to developers.facebook.com you need to be logged in to do this and then also I'm assuming you already have created a Facebook page so if you haven't created a Facebook page yet go to facebook.com and scroll down to the very bottom and look for a link that says create a page click that create a page for your business and then come back here to developers.facebook.com and what we're gonna do is add a custom tab to that page so once you're here you're gonna go to my apps and click set up a new app you need to give your app a name I'll call my web app TV welcome click agree create the app you gotta solve this captcha now once we're in here um, this page the about page you don't really have to edit anything you can change this icon if you want whatever you set to be this icon will show up on your actual tab on your Facebook page this will be a little image next to the link uh, we want to go to Facebook integration this canvas URL is the URL you just copied from your Facebook page I mean from your uh, your Google Sites page paste that URL that you copied there and paste it there also now you have to make a couple changes on the canvas URL you want to delete the S and on both of these you want to add www dot for some reason it won't work unless you do that I, I don't know Facebook won't validate the links it, so on those two, remove the S here and add www dot to both of them. Set iframe size to auto resize and social discovery disabled. Tab name can be anything you want. And then here we want to paste those URLs again, same as we did before, except this time you don't have to add www dot. Just delete the S from tab URL and leave the S for secure tab URL and click save changes. So now we've created our app and now all we have to do is use that to add the tab to our Facebook page. So you go to application profile page, scroll down to add to my page, select the page you're going to add to, click add to page, close that, then go to your Facebook page and you should be able to see that tab that you created right here, like here's welcome, I called mine welcome, click on that and it's gonna load your Google Sites page in here now it looks crazy because we got all this Google stuff up here but that's only because I'm logged in if I sign out now I can look at it I'm gonna refresh the page this is what everyone else will see the the exact page we made so it's it's the 500 500 pixels of content that we created in there and now anytime I want to update this content or add anything I just go back to Google Sites edit the page and I can put anything I want on this page 
Now, if I want to set this as the default page that everyone sees when they come to my um, Google, I mean my Facebook page, I just click use Facebook as webapp.tv, go to edit page, and for default landing tab, I set it to welcome, the tab that I created, click save, and now everyone who comes here, this would be the default page they will see. So I hope that helps people out with the easy way to customize their Facebook page. And if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment on this page. Or you can email me at hello at webapp.tv. And thank you for watching.